Hey there, my friend, it's Dr. Anthony Balduzzi, and I wanna welcome you back to another episode here on the Fit Father Project Podcast. Today, we're joined by one of our very own Fit Father brothers, Peter Olson. Peter is 44 years young, and for the past seven months, he's used this Fit Father program to lose roughly 70 pounds, which is an amazing accomplishment and certainly weight that Pete needed to get off to be able to be healthy and to be aligned, in his words, be right with God and really feel like he's honoring this body that he's been given. But more importantly, this journey for Pete was one of getting aligned mentally and emotionally with himself. You know, for years, like many guys, Pete allowed bad habits to kind of creep up into his life. And he had some depression and mental emotional challenges. And this program was a way for Peter to basically cleanse himself in a sense of getting back to doing hard things, pushing through, understanding the importance of having a plan, and then seeing how the way he's approached his fitness and seen so much success just translates to all these other areas of his life. So this is a really beautiful conversation in particular in the back part of this convo. I asked Peter this question, where do you want to be in five to 10 years? And I think his answer is really great. And it highlights the different phases of this journey, because in the beginning, we're really focused on weight loss and we have a very direct measuring stick to track things. But when you reach your goal weight, like Peter has, like, how do you continue to set new horizons and new goals and have the right kind of growth mindset? We get into some of that stuff and it's a really beautiful conversation. So without further ado, let's get into today's convo with Fit Father Pete Olson. And Pete, if you're listening to this, congratulations again for all your amazing success. We're super proud of you. All right, Peter, welcome officially to the Fit Father Project podcast, my friend. I'm so happy you're here. All right, thank you. It's great to be here. I'd love to kick us off with you introducing yourself to all the guys who are listening here, your name, your age, where you're from, and anything you'd love to share about your family and what you do for work. Yeah, so I'm Peter Olson, uh, 44 years old. Um, I live uh, outside the Twin Cities in Minnesota. Um, I'm married to my wife, Kelly, for almost 25 years. Nice. And um, we've got two kids in college, so they're in Ohio. Um, we lived there for a long time. That's where my wife is from. So, um, so we've been doing the empty nest thing. And um, let's see, for uh, work, I do work in IT, do software, some machine learning. And um, you know, since the pandemic, pretty much just working at home, um, mm-hmm. which is uh, you know, all in all, been good. You know, you miss some of those interactions with people and stuff like that, but uh, it saves the commute, which is nice. So. Nice. Yeah. And for context, I just love to you to give some guys some starting stats on you, like where you were at in terms of height and weight before you started the program and then where you're at today. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm uh, six, five, six, four, six, five. Um, I started at about 280. Mm-hmm. Um, I think at one time in the recent years, I was up at 287 maybe. So I started at mm-hmm. 280. Um, I've lost 65, 70 pounds. So nice. um, I think today I'm actually under 210. Nice. Um, which is crazy. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I, it just, it's just awesome. And, um, yeah, just good stuff. So love it. Well, that's good. That's a good, like just frame to kind of talk about how you got that weight off and everything that's kind of changed in the interim. And I right. want to hear what prompted you to look for a program and like, what, what were you searching? Why were you searching? Like, how'd you find the FFP? Yeah. 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 I mean, and kind of going back a little, you know, my journey is similar to a lot of guys. I was an athlete in high school, mostly basketball, um, a little bit of running and, you know, moved into college and, you know, kind of did a few things here and there, but not much and got married, had kids and, you know, in your twenties and thirties, you can get away with that. You know, it Mm -hmm. didn't change much and, you know, um, it moved into thirties and, you know, and then in, in my early forties and just the weight kind of creeping on and not doing stuff and, and that type of thing. So, um, I kind of, you know, lots of challenges in life. I've dealt with depression and anxiety and, and working through that and working through relationship things and all those things kind of factored into, it was easy to neglect some of the physical stuff. Um, you know, and combined with too, like, you know, it was like, I knew it was, I always told myself, Oh, if I get, you know, start to gain weight and stuff. I'll do something about it. I'll do something about it. And I kind of just didn't and Mm -hmm. didn't know what to do and, and just couldn't deal with it to a degree. And, but I did, uh, I think it was early 2022. I was like, okay, I got to at least look. And, um, you just, I'm like, I'm not 20. I can't do, you know, P90X or I can't do something crazy. Um, I want to just injure myself. So I was just looking for, you know, diet nutrition for guys over 40 and, and, uh, fit father was one of the first things that popped up. Um, I tried the, I did the one day, you know, free stuff a little bit, but didn't really dig into it, tweaked my back a little bit. Uh, it just didn't go anywhere. And so 
and like I say, lots of going on in life. Um, so it actually wasn't until this year um, that was like, okay, I, you know, I just, I got to do this. Um, and, you know, cause I'd stay on the email and I don't, I don't like to get a bunch of newsletters and stuff. I'm like, oh, I'm going to stay on this, you know, and, and just kind of look at the Sunday emails every once in a while. And uh, so it was always on my radar and it was like, you know, I just need to do this. And, um, you know, at least for me, it was like um, to invest in the 30 days and really like put something behind it financially. Mm-hmm. It was like, you know, versus just kind of dabbling a little bit for me, that yeah. was a big uh, difference maker to say, look, I'm, I'm really going to take a step here, you know, something concrete. So nice. Um, yeah. So that's a little bit of kind of, you know, what brought me to that point. So, yeah. And I, I, it just makes me, as you're saying, just like the slow build of like your health and the busyness of life. It's like the, the idea of how do you boil a frog is like, you know, a degree at a time, you know, just increasing the water slowly until it gets so hot. And then you finally realize, holy shit, you know, something's actually really wrong here now. Um, and so it's cool that you, you got to the point where you also saw that the free wasn't enough and you need to put a little commitment behind it. And so when you get into the program, um, like what was your experience like in the mission statement and the mindset aspect of the program? Yeah. You know, that was, um, uh, interesting in that, you know, I was going through the setup steps and, um, you know, I've done working on mental health and emotional health. I've done a lot of work there, counseling, things like that. And so initially I was like, ah, I know myself, I don't need to do this mission statement thing. And yeah, I mean, not that it was like, you know, I was like, I, I you know, I kind of got that. I was like, no, I, I'm going to, I'm going to go through this. I'm going to, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm investing in this. I want to go through the steps. And, mm-hmm. and it really was, um, you know, it's not like, yeah, I thought about some of these things, but they're really laying out like, okay. And, and I was looking at it. Uh, again last night and um you know what's your goal uh mm-hmm. you know try to make that concrete yeah um and, you know obviously for a lot of guys it's weight mm-hmm. um and I'm, I'm i'm a little you know weight is something we can't control otherwise if we really could we wouldn't be overweight but right. you can influence it so i yeah i did like i had weight as a goal but also like uh i was trying to come up you know i i said i want to be able to do like 30 push-ups i kind of made mm-hmm. that up i don't know um but something you know something else um mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, so set that goal. Like, what is it you want? In the next 30 days, what do you want to accomplish? And then, um, you know, just going through that, like, okay, well, why? What, what's the reason? And, and initially it was like, you know, I want to be healthy, be there for my family, uh, be more attractive for my wife, um, those kinds of things. But mm-hmm. the whole structure of it, going from that to like, okay, you know, what, what is it going to take? What is it going to mm-hmm. cost you? Because, you know, that resonated. If, plain and simple, if the costs of doing it, outweigh the benefits Mm -hmm. uh it's not going to happen i mean you can you might start but ultimately that's gonna uh it's gonna weigh against you and that's just Mm -hmm. true for everybody and so and so i really like that too digging deeper okay if that's not enough really why um Mm -hmm. and you know the real why for me was just from a spiritual standpoint like this is the body god's given me and i want to take care of it and i think deep down i kind of knew i wasn't yeah um and and wanting to just be disciplined and a you know kind of a steward of that um and, and those other things as well, uh, you know, in terms of just feeling better and, and capable and all that kind of stuff. But, um, hmm. but that was really, uh, you know, that's something I didn't, I kind of tinkered with one other program and didn't take, and it was not nearly so structured. And um, so I haven't been in a lot of programs, but I, you know, think and strongly suspect with, that's a difference in fit father. It's not just eat this. It's not, uh, you know, do these exercises. I mean, that's there of course, but there's getting at that deeper, you know, uh, what are you doing and why and yeah. and that type of thing. So for sure, it's really well said. And I'll just do a personal reflection to me is like the reason that I keep on going with my health and fitness and my the deep part of my why is the same as you. It's, it's, it's completely spiritual. It's like integrating, having this feeling of integrity in this body and, you know, honoring God through the way I show up with my life and feeling like I'm whole by being on track. So I, I really resonate with what you shared there. And I just wanted to plus on that. That's really beautiful. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay. So you start the program and I imagine you're changing your eating pretty substantially. So run us through like what you were kind of doing before with your nutrition, you know, even like highlighting some of the bad habits or vices if, if you had them. And then what did you change when you got into FF 30 X, particularly phase one? I imagine that was a big part of your weight loss. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, you know, I, I did just kind of jump in, um, I think, you know, I, I mean, I'm sure I could have been eating worse, but, um, you know, a lot of carbs, I didn't really, I've learned a lot about, you know, the different macros and those types of things, but, mm-hmm. um, you know, a lot of impulse eating, snacking, 
um, you know, desserts and, and, you know, all these types of things. And so I think that it just all caught up with me, Mm -hmm. um, you know, eat out and it's like, I don't go get fast food or, you know, whatever. Um, so that was a big shift, obviously to go to, you know, I really honed in on the, the breakfast shake, Mm -hmm. the man, which, um, I am, you know, I'm, I can be content with kind of eating the same thing over and over again, which was good because it was easy. Um, that was something, I mean, it, it seems obvious now, but going through the setup and, you know, you talk about the go-to meals. It was like, don't, ha- don't make it so you don't have to think. You don't have to, yeah. you know, have a plan. It's like, this is what I'm going to eat. Uh, it's set, you know, um, it's going to be nutritious. It's going to be healthy and work me toward my goals. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, so that's that combined with the perfect plate. I mean, I really like about the program. It's simple. Um, yeah. You don't have to count calories. You don't have to count points or macros. Yep. I mean, you can. For some, some guys do that and it works really well, but... I think it would have been a bigger, a much bigger hurdle for me starting out to really, sure. uh, to do that. So, um, so yeah, that was really, uh, I did start the shakes a little early before I kind of kicked it off officially. Mm-hmm. And then, um, uh, yeah, shape, shake and manwich. I mean, that was my go-to for forever, in a, you know, protein bar. Afternoon Is it still kind of your go-to so. to this date? Like how many, with how many months you've been doing this? Like close getting so, closer to the year? Uh, I'm, so let's see, I started in mid-March, so okay. yeah, seven, half seven and a half, eight yeah. months. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, shake is still my go-to in the morning. Um, you know, since I'm, I've am i been maintaining, so I can layer in a few extra things and, and, mm-hmm. and that type of thing. But yeah, I mean, today I had a shake and, and some fruit and the manwich and uh, an apple. And, you know, I mean, that's, you know, that basic structure, that's all, that's all still there. And that's part of the new, you know, habit of things. Um, yeah, you know, I think the other, I, I was surprised at how hungry I wasn't, um, <laughs> which I know I have heard that from other guys too. It's like, I, I kind of looked, I was like, I'm not, it's not like I'm starving or anything like that. Um, and, uh, you know, that, that surprised me. Um, and so, um, yeah, I don't know, but I really definitely made the switch and it was like, okay, I just need to do this. And, and uh, you know, it's a, it, it, it was easy starting out. I mean, not easy, but mentally it was like, okay, this is exciting. This is new. Um, and I want to stick with this and, you know, um, you know, that type of thing. So, so as an empty nester, how did it, how did it work with you changing your nutrition and your wife getting on board or not getting on board? What was that transition like when you started to change your eating habits in the household? Yeah. Um, you know, that she really, uh, you know, overall has been a lot more, you know, health nutrition conscious than I have over the years. Um, she was in, you know, when our kids were home more in the situation of she was trying to eat healthy and nobody else was really, um, she, she was that, you know, the one kind of on her own doing that, which was really yeah. hard. So, you know, she, she'd done a lot of different, you know, research and, and those types of things. And so, um, so that was very like, she was like, yeah, we can, you know, this, this fits and, and it, it's just two of us that, you know, that, uh, makes it a little easier in some respects yeah. too. So, um, so that was, you know, we started kind of, uh, you know, mapping those out using some of the meal plans, you know, sometimes finding some other recipes out there on the blog or other mm-hmm. sources that, you know, fit and, and, um, and that type of thing. So, um, uh, but yeah, that, you know, hear from other guys, that's like, oh, I'm the only one, you know, it's like, I'm doing this cooking and all these separate things, you know, and it's like, I, I empathize or I, that's tough, you know, um, yep. when you can have some alignment, you know, with, with, uh, with your family and those in your household, it makes a big difference. So, yeah. Nice. All right. I want to pivot into the exercise. So, I mean, you're, you're a guy with an athletic background and I'm sure over the years, like you got a little more stiff. I know a little bit from your podcast intake form that you had history of some back pain and obviously you tweaked your back, even doing some of the free stuff. So like, how is, how has the back gone through this experience? And I think speak to guys who have had back pain and I know you have, and how has that changed over the course of time? And also let's just talk about the early days of exercise. Yeah. 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 So in terms of, uh, back issues, I had some of my twenties, I had an MRI and some herniation. And then, uh, my early thirties, like, I think the herniation's there and basically the nerves just got pinched and so inflamed that I was basically a cane. It was a walking stick, but I mean, I was Dang. getting around like, like that. Um, and I think, uh, I almost had surgery. Um, I was able to, with physical therapy and a cortisone shot kind of get through that. But, um, then I got, you know, more concerned with posture, but I also, I think my core just got super weak. So I would, um, you know, I get back spasms that were just like debilitating. Uh, I know a lot of guys have 
know exactly what I'm talking about. Yep. Um, you know, I'm at work, I can't hardly stand up at my desk and all these things. And so um, that was, I think when I started the free thing, I kind of, you know, uh, um, did a little bit, but just aggravated things enough. And it was like, okay, I got to step back and that type of thing. So, so I did, uh, you know, again, I kind of, God's done a lot of really amazing things in my life and this was a big part of it. Um, and so along with that, I was like, okay, I got to get back to my physical therapy exercises. You know, I, mm-hmm. it's all, you know, strengthening your core and all those kind of stuff. So I, at the time, right when I started around then, I was like getting diligent again about doing those. So I think, I think that was good. Yeah. Um, and, um, you know, and at the same time, just trying to listen to my body and, and, and work into it. I, you know, I, one of the things that's great about the program too, is it's very flexible. So, you know, there's like eight different versions of apex 10, yep. uh, you know, knees, backs, body weight, you know, it, it, it's not like you have to do exactly this. And so, so I looked on the one hand, I was like, okay, there's back friendly stuff here. So this is good. Um, I think I might've done some of those, but I also, I wanted to see if I could do the, the regular way. Cause I really wanted to strengthen those yep things improve the situation so um uh so i know like the swings in particular i was pretty cautious about for sure uh you know just taking it slow you know taking it easy and that type of thing and um but you know gradually that's been good i I mean now ironically today i kind of my back's a little aggravated from uh from doing some squats today but um uh Overall, I've had more trouble with, you know, some aggravating my knees and elbows. I've like had more trouble with everything else and my back's been uh, really pretty good, but that's um, good to hear. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, it's been solid, you know, and just feeling much more comfortable lifting things and, and that type of stuff. So are you able to do your 30 push ups now? Yes. I, uh, and I kind of, I, uh, earlier this week I was like, yeah, I gotta do that again. And yeah, I did 30 comfortably, probably could do more, although I was sore awesome. from, from stuff. And so. Um, and I did at the 30 days I did hit, it was definitely a struggle, but I did, uh, I did get to the 30 push pushups. That's really impressive. Cool, so. I mean, yeah, it goes yeah. to show how quickly you, the body can adapt with the yeah. right kind of training. Yep. Yeah. The improvement is crazy. And, you know, on the brotherhood that comes up a lot, like, uh, you know, guys starting out and doing the first apex and it's like, uh, you know, you accelerate quickly, um, mm-hmm. in terms of that improvement and, you know, and then you start to hit kind of those limits and, and push those limits. But, um, it is amazing for coming into it, feeling like I am so out of shape, you know, l- you know, literally shape wise and, and, <laughs> you know, stamina wise and everything. Um, and like, this is going to be terrible and, and it's hard, uh, yeah. you know, make no mistake about that, but, um, you know, it's, it is amazing how quickly, uh, things develop. So in a good way. Hey, it's Dr. Ray. I want to quickly pause this episode to thank you for listening to this Fit Father podcast. I am just blown away at how amazing this podcast has become. I had no idea when I started FFP around 10 years ago that it would grow into such an impactful mission. And I want to let you know that I am so grateful to be connected to you in this lifetime. And on behalf of me and my entire team, we are so grateful to be in your life, helping you get and stay healthier for your family. That's what I want to share. Just some gratitude from my heart to yours. Let's get back to today's episode. So you're on phase three now, which is saying something. I mean, I, there's, there's only a certain percentage of guys in the brotherhood that go through and begin to tackle things like peak 11. And I know you've become friends and enemies at the same time with peak 11. (laughs) Um, what's, what's could talk to us about your progression through the different phases of the workouts. Like how would you describe the trajectory? What stands out for you? workouts you may like, st- like milestones that you achieved and just like speak to the trajectory of going through the three main phases, obviously phase four, which you may be getting into soon is more of a sustained thing, but the fa- there's, yeah, tell us about the trajectory of the phases in the workouts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, like a lot of guys, uh, apex was tough starting out. I think I got to like seven maybe, yeah, uh, with 10 pounds. Um, and, but stuck with it, you know, another piece of that going into it, I was like, I did not know I'm going to, where I'm going to find the time to exercise and, and, um, kind of the shifts that happened, I was like, I'm going to have to do it in the evening. There's no way I can get up earlier and all that kind of stuff. And yep. so, you know, you fast forward about two, three weeks in, I'm starting to get up early. It's like, I'm going to get up. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, I, there was one, uh, one of the guys in the brotherhood posts a motivational quote, like every day. And I, I was flipping through, you know, hadn't got out of bed. Like, oh, maybe, maybe I'll go back to sleep. And like, I saw that and I was like, no, I, I got to get up. Now I got to get up and go do this workout. And um, so, you know, just those types of changes and, and uh, even seeing myself going, I can't believe I'm doing this. I mean, this is awesome, but it's like, 
you know, who this is like a different person that I didn't, you know, don't even know. Um, so yeah, I went to Apex, really moved into phase two and just kind of continue that, you know, added in, um, you know, recommended more days of workouts and that's mm-hmm. just, you know, the routine now. And there's, you know, there's that battle sometimes of like, Oh, I don't want to get up. And, um, but you know, you do it more and more and it does just become habit. I mean, that's, yeah. you know, get up, uh, you know, take care of the, 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 the bathroom thing and mm-hmm. weigh myself and, and get ready for a workout, you know, and that's, you know, so, uh, you know, to a degree, it's almost hard not to do it because, yeah. you know, um, it's just what I'm used to doing. Um, so I really, for me, like the, the MRTs, uh, really clicked. Um, yeah. so I just like the intensity of it. I mean, sometimes I don't like when I'm doing, it's like, why am I doing this to myself? But then, you know, it's like, oh, that feels good. Um, I like to push myself, you know, that, um, uh, one of my early posts, like I, uh, more learning how to push myself. I knocked like four or five minutes off my previous time. It was like, nice. you know, posting that in the brotherhood and it was just like, this is awesome. And, um, so those, uh, you know, the strength workouts, that's something I, w- I want to go back to those and kind of, um, I kind of did them, but didn't really, you know, kind of get good at it, I guess. And in mm-hmm. that type of thing. So I want to go back to those, but, um, the MRT is really good. Um, the, uh, interval training, you know, that was good. Um, especially when the weather got warmer, I kind of started to, uh, do a little running. Nice. Um, that was kind of cool going out the first and doing kind of, you know, two, one minute on two minutes off kind of running, jogging. And I got through, you know, 20 minutes or so. And it wasn't until about like, like, you know, 12 to 15 minutes where I was like, okay, this is getting hard. Mm-hmm. Um, which was like that the doing the apex 10, um, and, you know, probably double trouble at that point, um, had built up that cardio and stamina that I could go out and run, you know, a minute sprint. And I mean, I mean, it wasn't like, yeah. nothing, but, uh, that's, cool. you know, it, it was pretty, I was like, wow, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. So, yeah. Love that. So what's been the hardest part of the program for you over the last seven, eight months? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I guess just doing it, just putting in the work. Um, mm-hmm. you know, I, I feel lucky, even blessed in a way that I've had, I had really steady progress. So I, I think I lost 15 pounds, like each of the th- first three months. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, and, and I feel, you know, I'm on maybe the younger end of the spectrum. So that works in my favor and, you know, mm-hmm. just, you know, different, get, a lot of guys hit plateaus and, and, and those types of things. And, um, you know, so I kind of was lucky in that way. And so, mm-hmm. you know, I'll take it. Um, but, um, I think, uh, it is just that diligence that, um, you know, staying with it and just keep going. Um, mm-hmm. the, I know in the beginning it was like, okay, this is exciting and new. I'm like talking to my wife about it constantly. And, you know, <laughs> post on this is like, okay. But, uh, and I kind of knew I was like, okay, there's sort of this honeymoon phase here. Like, okay, I gotta, I hope, I hope I don't lose focus, you know? And, um, and, and just thankfully I didn't, I mean, it, and some of that maybe was just moving into the new phases. Okay. Here's something new, you know, right. here's a new challenge to take on. Um, something different to do. Can I do this? Um, you know, peak 11 was one I'd see people post about that. I'm like, oh, <laughs> peak 11. I don't know. I know apex 10. So this has got to be a pyramid to 11. And, and, uh, I was like, Ooh, you know, but at the same time, I'm like, I want to get there though. I want to, yeah. uh, you know, and I even midway through kind of phase three was at a maintenance level, but I was like, I want to do peak 11. And now I kind of, you know, I, I'm fine leaving it for a while, but, yeah. um, but, uh, yeah, you know, that, that was a big thing. Um, I, you know, I think without that kind of brotherhood, I, I just don't see myself doing it like to do, try to do this journey in isolation. Yeah. Um, it's totally I different. I think, I don't think I could have done it. Um, mm-hmm. there's just been multiple times where maintaining that discipline, it's like, okay, you know, um, doing the weekly accountability and posting that and just, just that mental edge too, where I could feel like, okay, I'm, I'm losing that you know, motivation there and just to see other guys, either, you know, struggles and victories and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's just that little, you know, there's that nudge to kind of keep, keep at it, keep, keep your nose to the grindstone. So and I got to say, I mean, I think that's just the truth of how life is like you, if you cut with a knife long enough, the knife gets dull and like, that's kind of what we're doing. And then yeah. Proverbs twenty seven seventeen is iron sharpens iron. So too does one man sharpen another. Like that's the whole point of this, right? Is right, like right. we get, we get to get better together. 
and, and to get sharper and to borrow that inspiration. And I mean, you're doing the same thing. Like the fact that we're recording this now and someone's going to listen to this is going to sharpen right. them back. So yeah, that's yeah. the coolest part. It's like a yeah. complete circle of goodness all the way around. Right. right. Question about your kids. They, I mean, they're in college, you know, empty nester, but have they, have they been able to see you or come home and see any of your progress? Or is it just like, they're going to see you in the future and they're like, holy crap, dad's like a quarter. He's lost a quarter of his body weight <laughs> in this amount of time. No, yeah, they've definitely seen things. We started in March, and so they, they were back for the summer. Um, and, um, you know, I, I think we were down there maybe Easter or something, and I was telling my son about it. And uh, he, the back things have run in the family because he's actually had back surgery, which is crazy at his age. But mm-hmm. um, uh, he did a lot of running, so I said, I'm looking at that. But anyway, I was, I was, uh, it was getting close to phase two. I said, yeah, I think I got to, there's this, there's this fast thing, this 24 hour fast. And, He's like, I would never do that. And I was like, <laughs> you know, and, and uh, but you know, and and I was not so, you know, I was like, not sure. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but, um, you know, there's definitely that example there, and that's, um, I think especially as time goes by, you know, I hope it's something that they are like, okay, he, you know, dad was this way, and he he really said, okay, I'm going to make these changes. You know, I, I I need to do this, and um, um, you know, so. I think that that's uh, hopefully an example that they'll uh, see and draw on. So, where do you want to be in five to ten years? Like now, from the being on this program, when you picture yourself, your body, your health, your life, like how would you describe the that like kind of nearish but distant enough future? Yeah, I mean, hopefully, in terms of like in terms of diet nutrition, you know, in principle, the same, you know, maintaining this way of approaching things. So. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, it was interesting kind of getting, you know, I had an initial go away, it kind of hit that and it's like, okay, I'll keep going here a little bit. But then, uh, and you know, I, there's still kind of figuring that out, but I'm at a pretty, I'm about where I was in high school basically, or a little under that. So, nice. which is pretty awesome. So, um, but it was kind of weird getting to that point and like, okay, I've been watching the scale here and like, well, now what, you know, I, this has been a motivator, a motivator. And, um, um, but I'm definitely like, I want to keep setting goals, you know, whatever those yes. are. Um, and that's, you know, shifting that into like, okay, uh, what do I, you know, what, are, and I've been emailing with, with, uh, Ben Sterling this week about, you know, okay, yeah. well, what, what about this or this, how do I go about this? Um, and so I think that's the big thing. I mean, obviously to keep doing what I'm doing, but also to like, okay, what, um, you know, what do I want to learn more about nutrition or, mm-hmm. um, you know, what type of goals do I want to have physically? Uh, and, um, you know, so broadly it's like that, you know, mm-hmm. um, and maintaining health and, um, you know, I, I, for years didn't go to like have a physical because partly just lots of stuff going on in life, yeah. but I also, I didn't want to go have that conversation like, Hey, you need to lose weight. And I'm like, oh, I, I, I know, you know, and so, you know, did that this summer and it's great conversation, you know, <laughs> it was great. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I want to continue to do that and, and have that uh, that health. And, you know, now I feel like, Hey, I've got every reason to, you know, at least with the things in my control, live a long life here. Yeah, um, for sure. And, uh, you know, just keep doing that. So nice. Do you have any non-scale victories or stories of NSVs throughout this journey? Whether it's, yeah, just any of them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Tons of them. I, uh, you know, I was like trying to like, uh, honestly, and not to make it sound like look at me or anything, but, you know, I had been involved in the Facebook group. So I was like, looking back and I was like, oh my gosh, there's tons of stuff here. And, and so much of them are NSVs. And, uh, you know, big ones are just that, just seeing in myself, like, like I said, I'm getting up early doing workouts, workouts now and I'm eating different and like, you know, it was kind of like a 180. And now to see like continuing that and maintaining those things, um, you know, just some of those things were, uh, were big. Um, I remember, uh, you know, we have some small trees I was going to trim and I'm getting the ladder out. And, uh, you know, last year I was on faith that that weight limit on the ladder was <laughs> underestimated, right? Because I was over, um, and, you know, not very high up, but um, so it was, I didn't, you know, I'm pulling the ladder out. I'm like, hey, I'm under that weight limit. So that's really cool. Um, and then, uh, you know, the other one that I wasn't tracking it, but, you know, I got my Apple Watch. Of course, it's watching everything, which is maybe a separate concern but um <laughs> looking at uh my resting heart rate so like in february it was about like uh 72 beats per minute and mm-hmm. you know now it's like 50 low 50s um, nice and that's just like that really hit me because it's like that's like my heart is literally healthier i mean it's stronger For more sure. efficient um all those things so um 
Yeah, yeah, I, but there's just tons. I'm, they're not just all popping into my head right now. But yeah, those and those non-scale victories are huge. I mean, clothes and you know, uh, fitting, you know, not fitting basically. And um, but those are those are so big because it is more than just the the scale. And you can't always just guarantee that hey, I'm going to lose two three pounds this week or whatever it is. You know, it yeah. might might or might not. So yeah, that's it's powerful to share there. Now you've, you've definitely commented on it like somewhat indirectly, but I want to ask you more directly, like how has your mental, emotional life changed? How has your relationship to yourself changed your self-talk, your self-image, these kinds of things throughout this process? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I, I think, like I said, God's done a lot and I think a lot of it led into that. So I did a lot of work and, you know, uh, in terms of mental health, depression, and anxiety, I've always kind of attacked that from all fronts. And, and so really in the previous, you know, years I've been working on that and progressing. Um, and at the same time, uh, in a general sense, you know, I've always had that encouragement, like, hey, if you can exercise, that's going to really help your mood. It's really going to, you know, and it was like, oh, yeah, I know, I know. So there's the natural things of like, hey, I'm just eating better, healthier, more energy. Um, but I think there's also just this like, uh, seeing myself, you know, have the success and go like, I almost can't believe I'm doing this, but, um, has kind of changed the way I can approach, you know, this, but also other areas of life. It's like, um, you know, I've had a lot of successes. Um, but at the same time, it's easy for me if I'm approaching a situation or problem where, okay, the solution isn't clear and I'm not sure how to do this. It's easy for me to kind of pull away, you know, not, Mm -hmm. not engage in it. Um, and, um, uh, and I did that with my, my health and fitness for a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to tackle this. And so now seeing like, okay, this is, Hey, this is hard, but I'm going to push through and persevere. Um, that's really helped translate into other areas of life. It's like, if I can show up this way here, I can show up better as yeah. a husband and better as a dad. Um, you know, when those things get hard, um, you know, okay, I'm going to dig into this, not, you know, kind of pull back. And, and those things have all kind of worked together, but it's, um, uh, you know, seeing that it's like, this is something I can kind of hang my hat on now too, of like, Hey, I, I did this. Um, and, uh, you know, again, it's when, when those other challenges come up, it's like, it helps. I have more energy too, but, um, you know, it's just like, no, I can, I can do this. I can lean into this. Um, you know, figure out the goals, figure out the next steps. Um, you know, what are the things I can do? What are a few things I can do today, you know, to move forward in these different areas. So. That's amazing. I mean, that's like the meta, the meta process of the meta skill of problem solving, digging in, doing hard things. And, you know, it translates for sure. So some, what's some of the best advice that you've been given or advice you regularly give, or just even like reminders you give to yourself in terms of like your own mindset? Yeah. Um, yeah, for me, um, you know, one of the, one of my coworkers always like progress over perfection. That's, that's a big one for me. I, I definitely am a perfectionist type mindset and expect, mm-hmm. you know, really put that pressure on myself and it's kind of defeating. And so, um, that's something I've had to learn of like, like I was saying, like, you know, okay, all right. Yep. Uh, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm never going to be, but it's, uh, you know, what are the, what's something concrete I can do today that I can control, um, you know, it's a step that I can take today and that, you know, doing a workout or eating right or making a phone call to, uh, you know, somebody I haven't talked to in a while or, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, but just making that progress. Um, mm-hmm. And I even somebody, I don't remember where, maybe in the in the brotherhood, it was persistence over perfection. Mm-hmm. Um, a similar vein of just keep keep going. Um, I think the other, it relates with, with it, father and all of life, but like have a plan. So, that was what uh, I look at, like the idea of the go-to meals and like, in essence, that's like, just have a plan. Like, okay, what mm-hmm. are you going to do? And, um, you know, sometimes, uh, so you get new guys starting out and um, it's like, uh, and maybe read too much into it, but I'll kind of say, well, I hope, I hope this is a change. I hope this, you know, that changes my lifestyle and stuff, which is really good. But I always want to feel like, don't just hope, like, okay, what's your plan? What are you going to, you know, what are you going to do? Mm-hmm. And so much of this stuff too is, uh, in terms of a fitness journey, a weight loss journey is, you know, I look, I went through the, I used the travel fit, uh, package and it's like 75% of it's the, 
all the the what before the trip like for okay, sure what, it is <laughs> you know what what where are you going to be uh where are you going to be eating out what can you eat there is there a grocery store nearby that you could get some go-to foods that you can take with you yeah uh, you know having that plan versus just kind of winging it as you go so um you know that's something and, and i look the same at with the accountability and and i'm now you know started to look at phase four where it's really like okay, now take these things and start to examine other areas of life. But mm-hmm. but really breaking that down to like, okay, you know, what are the things I'm going to do this week, you know, that are concrete? What did I do last yes. week? Um, uh, all those types of things. Um, that that plan and intention, I think that that's a big, that's a big piece. I feel like that's uh, helped me go a long way. So love that. I love that so much. Two final questions for you. First one is, what does it mean to you now Pete, to be a fit father? Yeah. Um, you know, being a different person in a lot of ways. And at the same time, you know, I've had a journey. And so it's like who I am today builds on all that. Right. But um, it is a difference looking in the mirror. It's uh, I feel more fit. I feel more capable. You know, we moved our kids out of their dorm and back into their dorm and to run up the stairs and carry boxes and stuff like that, where before it would have been like, okay, I got to be careful here because I don't want to throw my back out or anything. Now it's like, you know, I feel comfortable and I feel like I probably could do some of those workouts that the 20 year olds are doing, which is awesome. Yeah, that's cool. um, and, um, but yeah, and then I think like we've talked about too, of just uh, a lot of the changes for me that have been in other areas too, of just this mm-hmm. leaning in and like, okay, I can do this and, um, you know, show up, just show up better. Um, you know, we talked uh, up from the atomic habits, but just try to be 1% better, you know, a little yeah. better every day. And that piles up. Um, and, um, so yeah, I, you know, no plans to go back, uh, uh, in any way. And, you know, you ask like five or 10 years, it's like, yeah, I just want to keep, keep setting goals, keep working towards, uh, you know, new things, whatever those might be running or, uh, strength, muscle building, you know, kind of see where that all goes, but in principle, just keep growing, keep learning. For sure. And I speak for our entire team in sharing that, like, we're excited to see how your goals continue to evolve over the different seasons of your life, the new things you choose to pursue and, and, and to be with you on this journey long-term. Like we, we love it. And I'm, I'm so grateful. Like in a sense, it's, it's so cool that we feel like together you're at a sense of like some serious accomplishment and I guess a phase of initial completion, like a chapter closing to get through phase three, to reach a goal weight and to get to a place where you're maintaining and sustaining. Now this whole new chapter that opens up of like right. new goals, next level learnings is just going to be exciting. I'm really, yep. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. And on that, on that note, any shout outs you have for anyone on our brotherhood or our team, people who have impacted you, or maybe even just give, give Ben Sterling some love. Cause I mean, he doesn't get oh, the yeah. benefit of being on here to receive this. And No. I, yeah. Ben is huge. Um, just in terms of just crazy knowledgeable, right? Just in terms sure. of you throw anything out there, he's got an answer or he'll find <laughs> one, you know? Yeah. Um, and just super encouraging and supportive. Um, yeah. I mean, there's so many Shane Dixon, of course has been, yep. you know, there's guys like him that have been there for five, six years. Um, mm-hmm. and just again, knowledgeable, encouraging. Um, and, um, uh, you know, Chris Pleasance, I think he's, he's, uh, always literally, I, I think every day posting, he's posting the quotes, uh, the quotes <laughs> and stuff. And I mean, it's a, in some he's ways great. a small thing and yet it is a big thing. Uh, it, it is, it is just that thing. It just, just that nudge, just to stay on it, just to stay in that mindset. Um, and so many, I, you know, I don't want to leave anybody out, but, um, yeah, I know it's been huge though. And, it, and also to see new guys coming in. I mean, that's always encouraging for me. just like, I did my first apex or, you know, and then it's, it's, uh, or I, you know, it's a big one. It's like, Hey, I got all the way up to 10 and back down, but even just, this is my first one. I made it to five, you know, it's like, it's just awesome that to see anybody, um, stepping out to like, I'm going to make this change. Uh, you know, I'm going to start this journey. So, um, it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of all of that, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, this was fantastic, Pete. I I thank you for your time and, 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 and for your progress and for being a living example of what a fit father is. And I'm, I'm so grateful that you found this program and you've really changed your life. I mean, you've given me a great gift just to be able to share this time with you and see that the stuff that my team and I designed is like, you are the living work and proof <laughs> of like the goodness. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's like you've no, turned so, information into yeah. real good stuff. Right. Right. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's been more than I can say. And, uh, so thankful to you and to the team. Um, and you know, it's, uh, 
uh, for guys maybe listening, like looking at like, oh, do I want to do this? And, you know, I haven't done a lot of programs, but I really feel like I struck gold. Uh, you know, I'm not getting paid to say this, but it's <laughs> it's been it's been awesome. And, and I, you know, you guys, just the fact that phase four is like, hey, OK, now start to look at other areas of your life. I, I'm guessing most fitness programs don't emphasize that. And that's to me as a sign that, you know, you and the team are really like want to see people change, want to help grow. It's not just, you know, uh, these narrow goals. It's, it's like, you know, really trying to help improve people improve their lives. So for sure, um, that's certainly been a key part of, you know, a lot of the changes I've seen in my life here recently. So well said again, I appreciate you a lot, Peter. Thanks for coming on today. Yeah. Thank you. It's awesome.